All right, we are back and talking all things Helldivers. And right now, I seem to be a rank 150 super private at being able to break the game. Again, with this one, I took a stray shot from an automaton and I got blasted into another dimension. Who knows, maybe this is where the weapon balancing was banished to. Welcome to the channel. It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and we've got a full buffet of Helldivers topics to run through today, like weapon balancing, Sony, a strat that needs some love, another community poll, and even those player counts. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks so much for your awesome support. Remember to hit subscribe and to ring that notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. And away we dive once more into Helldivers. Okay, let's kick this one off with the current 2 billion bots major order, and this was originally slated for 5 days, of which we now only have 2 of those days left. The kill count sits just below 1 billion. We just passed the weekend, when our Helldiver forces are always at their highest, and we still haven't even reached 50%. Now, I think you know where I'm going with this, but at this rate, we will not be successful and we will not rack up those 2 billion bot kills. Working against us is the fact that Arrowhead seems to have found the multiplication bug that was so generous to us during the last kill count major order. Also, this major order is versus the bots, which are not nearly as popular as the bugs. And believe me, I understand your frustrations. The bots are ranged enemies. They never need to reload. Their patrol spawns and dropships are just relentless, etc., etc. And thinking about it, if I pulled the community right now and asked them, do you prefer fighting the bots or the bugs? The results would lean heavily towards bugs. And even now, when I just checked, despite the major order taking place versus the automatons, there are just as many divers taking on the bugs. Also, before I jump away from the galactic map, today's daily or personal order is to extract five rare samples, and those will require you to take on a level four challenging difficulty mission or higher just so they appear on the map. A quick show of hands, Helldivers. How many of you actually use the Guard Dog? No, not the Guard Dog Rover, you know, the Laser Rover. I'm talking about the actual Guard Dog, the one that uses a Liberator. As recently as last week, I was experimenting with this thing on and off because according to the patch notes from several updates ago, this thing apparently got a damage buff. Now, I think the last time I used it was versus the bugs, and I wanted to say first off, it sounds awesome and beefy. And for the few glorious moments that it actually has ammo, it seems to be able to take down chaff with ease until it runs out of ammo and becomes backpack candy. Seriously. It uses a Liberator attached to a drone, but unlike the Liberator a Helldiver uses, this thing only has 20 rounds per magazine before needing to return to your back and rearm. On top of that, it only gets 7 mags and can only be rearmed from a resupply, not from the environmental ammo that we pick up around the map, despite the fact that it's using the exact same weapon and ammo as a diver. And oh, by the way, it's going to try and run itself dry, locking on to a medium or heavy armor target. I mean, talk about useless. Meanwhile, the other variant, the rover, fires continuously for like, I don't know, half the mission and racks up a huge amount of chaff kills. I mean, talk about superb utility use. This Reddit post with over 4,200 upvotes echoes what I just said. I mean, this thing is downright F, bottom tier, until Arrowhead does something like, I don't know, doubling the magazine capacity and allowing us to rearm it with random ammo crates while not limiting it to resupplies only. I guess this one needs to be added to this massive dev to-do list. And while we're here, we might as well touch on weapon balancing. Oh, poor weapon balancing. This Reddit post currently has over 6,300 upvotes, and it shows Arrowhead's CEO, Johan, responding to a comment about how ARs are essentially useless in the game. Quote, Agree on assault rifles. The representation has become diluted. It's always strange in games where rifles are seen as pea shooters rather than the 2K J spitters that they are. Now, I don't normally read Reddit comments as well, but this top voted response really embodies how the community is feeling towards the balance team right now. Here's how it reads. It says, 
Johan. Team, we need to differentiate assault rifles. They've got higher muzzle velocity and pack more punch than SMGs and normal pistols, but it's not really showing in the current state of the game. Balance Dev's response, understood. Nerfing non-assault rifles now. Johan's response, no, not like that. I mean, it's humorous and I did get a laugh out of it, but you know, comedy is grounded in truth and this is spot on. The community is fairly unified on this one as well, which has affected how divers are responding to this recent Discord poll. And I try not to show these polls with my vote so you can make your own decisions, but the current percentages sit as follows. 3% at it's great, 9% it's okay, but I want more. 26%, that's the middle choice, says it's okay, but I want more patches and fewer war bonds. 14%, it's okay, but the items don't fit the theme, and sitting at a whopping 47% is, I don't like it. The community is looking for powerful play and fun, while we seem to be getting weak and useless, but apparently for the dev team, weak and useless equals balanced. Now, I looked over the list of weapons again this morning, and there are so many items in our armory that I simply can't bring myself to equip because I know I will be at a serious disadvantage. But there are a few rays of sunshine when it comes to this topic, and all of them involve Johan stepping in and giving that part of the team some much needed direction. Okay, let's talk Sony, and shortly after Friday's upload, another bit of bad news came rolling in as Estonia, Lithuania, and Latvia, you know, the Baltics, were added to that list of countries, territories, and regions to be delisted for sale on Steam. Now, Johan responded to this change as well, stating it was an administrative technicality correction, as they should have been on that OG list, and once Ghost of Shusima received the same boneheaded Sony treatment, Helldivers was adjusted to read the same. Now, for every good turn Arrowhead seems to do, for instance, we've all seen this Unity Day cape design, which is sick, and I can't wait to receive it and equip it. Anyways, like I said, for every good turn the studio does, Sony meets it with their own smack to the face. Even though Sony Interactive is located in California, they also have a significant presence in Japan, which just so happens to be one of the countries listed on the post by Steam as delisted. I honestly don't know what Sony is doing or why this is taking so long. I mean, who knows? Maybe they just have too much money on their hands or just feel like destroying one of the best new games they have in their portfolio. I mean, if that PSN PC login requirement is now gone, that means that PSN is no longer required. And with that, all those 180 regions and countries should now be reinstated so we can just move on. Taking everything into consideration, you know, the lukewarm reception to the latest war bond, the weapon imbalance issues, Sony's assault on the PC market, dummies, and the fact that the current kill count major order is versus those pesky bots, and you land somewhere in an area I haven't discussed in the past for Helldivers, player counts. Now, I don't think the sky is falling. Far from it. And this Reddit post was snagged, I think, somewhere around 1 a.m. EST Monday morning, when the available players are going to be at their lowest. But, and you knew this was coming because there is a but here, Helldivers is no different than any other gaming title. It isn't like it's Superman and impervious to bullets. It has taken its fair share of damage, and the players have started to get a bit of drama fatigue. I mean, we play games to escape all of that, right? To forget about all the issues out there and just have fun. And when the fun is restricted, well, you start to see players either move on or put down the game for a bit of a break. Again, I don't think Helldivers is anywhere close to dead. Far from it. But it does currently have two massive lead balloons tied around its neck with the Sony D-list issues and the weapon balancing changes, both of which contribute to that fatigue and both are doing their best to restrict the fun factor. Now, if Johan, Arrowhead and the dev team can get those handled, which by the way is a tall order, those player counts are not only going to rebound but increase. I think in the end, we as gamers just want great games that are fun and Helldivers checks both of those requirement boxes. Will this be the week that we get a massive buff balance pass across the board and Sony finally wakes up to reality? Fingers crossed on both of those. 
Go figure, right? I thought I was done for the day. I was just about to upload this video, but we got a little bit of breaking news that I wanted to include in this video. So here I am circling back around to it. This comes to us from Twin Beard over on the official Helldivers Discord concerning the state of patrols and spawn rates for missions with one to three players that they're too hard, spawn rates are too high or bonked as he says, which leads to frustrating gameplay when playing in teams with fewer than four players at the moment. TLDR here is that it is on their radar, they're taking a look at it again and hopefully for you ladies and gents out there that are uber skilled and love to solo those hell dive difficulties hopefully this will lower those spawn rates back to an acceptable level and you can get back to doing what you do best so that's great news there as long as the balance team can make it happen anyways remember to hit subscribe and to ring that notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts on my socials including an open invite link to my ever-growing hell divers discord can be found in the video description shout out to the nearly 227,000 of you amazing ladies and gentlemen from around the world who continually tune in and support my channel until the next one this is lieutenant buzz lightbeer signing off